Got a couple pieces up here for you guys. We have the Golden Neo Field Center uh, by Riviere Darling. Honestly, this is probably one of the best representations of Dio that I actually didn't think we'd get the chance to create. And it's an absolute masterpiece. And a few people were in chat or asking, hey, can we get the Water Enchantress Field Center? Because, you know, we've seen two iterations of the Field Center. It's been one of the most popular pieces, and a lot of people have wanted the play mat. Well, I will have a link down below so you can pick up both of them. We had a slight little restock on the Exosister Field Center and the Labyrinth Mommy, uh, also for a little bit of a request. I usually set aside five to six extras, but we're digging into those so people can get them. So link will be down below. Let's pass on over to Market Watch, shall we? <laughs> Big 30 percent guys if not smash the and crap out subscribe button smash this we can climb up the 100k ladder here so we have legendary duel of season three pre-sales here uh this caught my attention because I, I saw john talk about it. i was like you know we should probably go have a discussion with this because these uh these are kind of expensive i'm just gonna throw that out there the dark magicians at 50 dollars on tcg player nah <laughs> nah i'm good i'm good i could pick up foreign copies for less than that magician souls coming in at 32s now, here's the thing about the Magician Souls package. Considering the fact that we're going to head into Splite format here um, and just kind of looking at, like, the overall, like, giant power scaling and things that are coming with that, you know, the Magician Souls package doesn't really see a lot of play. Um, so I would expect, even though... $32 is going to look pretty enticing to some people, be like, oh, my God, you know, these are so much cheaper than they previously were. Yeah, sure. But... I think they can go lower than this. All right, Liquid Soldier twenty eight fifty also feels a little bit high. I know I'm just bashing down these prices, but that's good. All right, in my honest opinion, I haven't seen anything here really worth it. But once again, I understand that players are going to look at Liquid Soldier and go, you know, well, it's not fifty sixty bucks, and that's fine. You know, like I've said previously, you can pick up the foreign copies, you can get German Italian copies for much cheaper at for the original rarity. So a little bit of patience here. Soul Servants at 24s, it also feels a little bit high. Kaiser Glider at 19? Ugh. I'm not digging that either. Fearsome Dragon at 1850? Ugh. Mystical Elf of White Lightning at 18? No. <laughs> These are so expensive. Sunrise at 14? Um, I guess for the secret. The original print was originally at 9 bucks and just went down. Um, Preta Plant Triff over them at 14? That's a little bit high. Dark Magician Girl at 12. Uh, Red Dark Magician Girl at 10. You know, I kind of have a feeling that that might stay at 10. I don't know. Blue Sangin at 10 bucks. Hmm. A Scantor Don Walker at 750. Well, it's cheaper than the original. Ooh, a Scantor comes in multiple colors. Well, that's pretty. A Dust of Gold at six bucks. Apprentice at six. Mark my words, these are probably going to go up. Um, if we follow generic trends over time, uh, something like this will eventually go up in price. Happens all the time. Asla Piscu at 450. That's interesting. Tuning's also a little bit up there. Yeah, these are, uh, ooh, Ebon Illusion in blue. That's kind of nice. Four bucks. Eh. Once you get down here into, like, the, the cheaper stuff, you're just kind of going to be like, ah, oh, you know, it's it's acceptable, I guess. Spending $2 on a card that you kind of want for collection, a lot more acceptable than spending $32 for Magician's Souls, which, in my opinion, just gets, you know, power crapped here. Um, ooh, Gimmick Puppet, $1.50, I, I guess. Um, overall, though... Just to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not digging a lot of this. I would just be patient. Um, I did like the seal value, though. I, I will say that. 90 bucks for, uh, what is it, like eight of these? That's that's pretty all right. I'm not going to lie about that. That's, honestly, um, with a product like this, this, this is a kind of product that you, you get just to open up and have a good time with. You know, you're not going to win, like, the huge lottery with this set, in my opinion, unless, you know, you get, like, the ka and what will hold from here overall. All right, so as a uh, interesting thing here, I, I based on recent events, I was curious to see what the rest of the Lost Art collection has been going for here. 38 bucks was the last one that sold for English. I see Italian copies at 38. Um, you can get $43 for light play. Now, obviously, you're not going to know which of the... Well, I mean, they're probably not going to be open. That's your, like, other big trade-off here is there's not, like, a sealed version of these listings on TCG players. So that's a big thing 
too. Like, if you're somebody that's looking for sealed for these, you're probably not going to get that on TCG Player. Um, yeah, we see that the Dark Magician Girl is now settled up to 40 with the cheaper foreign copies doing its thing. Skill Drains are still $36. Um, you know, even after, like, what happened with this set, um, you know, considering the fact we've had, what, like, dual reprints of this after the Lost Art? Yeah, they've, they've calmed down. Uh, Exodia's head here. Um... 25 bucks. These are a lot cheaper than I remember they're being. I, uh, I always thought the Exodia heads were, like, way more expensive, but they've calmed down. And, of course, the Dark Magician Girls. I see, once again, you have more cheap Italian copies on the market. Hey, man, for collectability, I still don't think that's bad. $23 uh, escalating on upwards for the reprint of it. It's to be expected. Foolish Burials, still about $22 on the Lost Art Market, which is not bad entirely oh no excuse me they're 20s that's way better cool well lost our foolishes are still pretty cheap that's good to see all right what else we got back here on the the lost art ah uh, you start getting into the limbs 19 dollars for the left arm harpy queen wow these are still are these really still like 11 bucks are you are you serious are these more wow these are 17 dollars what the Harpy Queen never, I guess, really lost value. That's interesting. The right arm is $18. So it looks like the two arms and then the head via most expensive. And then the uh, right leg here comes in at $16. Okay. We recently saw that Soul Drains were going up as well. Uh, this is basically because it has one of the best preventative measures to stop tier elements from resolving. So, of course, these are going up. 14 bucks for Solemns. That's not bad, actually. Harpy channel, you know, all between like the Harpy Queen and this, seeing that these have just maintained for so long, that's actually disgusting. 10, 11 bucks for the Harpy. Okay, Call the Haunteds, eight bucks. That's actually a lot cheaper than you thought it would be. And then the left leg is literally eight dollars. This is like, I guess the most populated limb in existence. Chocolate Magician Girls are 10 bucks. These have not gone down. Oh my gosh, man, that's a little bit crazy. Harpy Conductor? Are these also $10? No, these are eight bucks. Okay, that's a little bit more uh, agreeable. God, that's like four Harpy cards. They're all worth it. Uh, Spooky Dog with six bucks. Oh, actually, hold on. Are these more? What's going on here with this? No, I see a lot of light play copies here at the $6 range, and then you hit eight. Okay, so that's not bad. Gustav is still only seven bucks. Bersinatrix? Really? These are still 10 bucks? Huh. A lot more of these Lost Arts are worth a lot. These are 10 bucks. Wow. Okay. Okay. I I see you, Lost Art Market. I see you doing your job. Harpy Dancer also is a $7 card. Okay. Wait, rings actually started to go up? Rings were so cheap back in the day that nobody wanted these. Yeah, cool. Rings are heading up to the $6 mark. Didn't think I'd see that. Legendary Fishermen's are also seven dollars for legendary fisherman okay sure five six bucks okay i these are the storming winds are finally worth money too i remember when people were just tossing these off these recently spiked too interesting five six bucks yeah okay so that we we knew that this one up and then this had a little bit of hype around it from another event harpy's feather rest also six dollars even, like, the Bad Vampire Vamp here is now a $6 card. I see that the foreign copies are dragging these down, but, like, English is $6. Congratulations to the Lost Art Market. Super Jews are 6 bucks. Have people just been buying out Lost Art cards? Like, have I just been asleep this whole time as, like, we've... Wow, the nurses. I'm actually surprised these are cheap. I do look does look like these are starting to head up though. Okay, alluring mirror split. Um, I see a lot of. Why are there so many damaged copies on the market here? Do they just come damaged from Konami. Uh, near mints are four bucks. Yeah, Italian copies for uh, five dollars post shipping. Boral. Even the boral is worth four bucks. Okay, um, dark ruler. Wow, Dark Ruler's actually starting to be a 3 to $4 card. Didn't expect that. Raging Area looks like it's going up as well. The Parasite Parasite, um, this is one of the cheap ones. I'm surprised this one hasn't gone up yet, honestly. 
Gillet or Tragedy, still two bucks. But once you, wow, the Twilight Sworn Shamans are very cheap too. But you are seeing a trend here, right? Like even like the most worthless ones. Oh, Celestials starting to go up. The VWXYZ at the two dollar mark. Okay, Blazing Heater. This is the cheapest of the sisters. That's interesting. <laughs> Poor Lesser Fiend is still a dollar. Yeah, you get down here, and then of course Don, we just don't have Don Zalug yet for whatever reason. Donny Z just never populated here. Um, be honest with you, looking through like the Lost Art collection, it's pretty much what I expected to see at this point. Um, though there's a lot cheaper stuff and there's a lot more expensive stuff than I really expected. That's like the nice thing about looking through like little mid updates like this. Lots of interesting things. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, subscribe button, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.